Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. I'm looking at a book. It's not a particularly heavy book again. It's running to about just over 400 pages. It's Marine Insurance Legislation in the fourth edition by uh, Robert Merkin. It's part of the Lloyd's Shipping Law Library, published by Informer, and the uh, Lloyd's List Group. And the book itself is a standard work. It's, it's a very detailed work. And you can see here standard information on at the beginning. Then halfway through, we get to the, the actual appendices. I can just find them. Which, when they start uh, there, and then they run through with a lot of detail, which you'll find very helpful, and a useful index right at the uh, back of the book. Now, my wife and I have given this title... New from Lloyd's Shipping uh, Library, a fully up-to-date and annotated marine insurance resource. And there's a review on Flickr, and this will appear in all, on all the main websites where we can put them. So what we say is this, if you're professionally involved in marine insurance, whether insurer, broker or legal advisor, you no doubt have a copy already of marine insurance legislation, probably the third edition, which was published in 2005. Well, this is the fourth edition, which means you now need to purchase uh, this latest edition to stay up to date. In fact, there have been three previous editions of the work since 1997, all written by Merkin, who's an acknowledged expert in insurance arbitration and marine insurance. Part of the Lloyd's Shipping Law Library, this publication incorporates uh, the many changes that have taken place in the marine insurance world since the previous edition including a fully updated annotation of the Marine Insurance Act of 1906, uh, interestingly drafted by Sir Mackenzie uh, Chalmers. The Act, of course, was a codification of some 200 years of judicial decisions and remains in force today, albeit with significant modifications and changes. This book sets out the authorities on which this legislation was based and the way in which the legislation has been construed. There are cross-references as well to the most recent Institute cargo clauses, now in a new version, and the first revision again for over 25 years. So this is a fairly slow-moving area. As I said, you'll get a lot of the information towards the back uh, of the publication itself. I would also draw your attention to the fact that important new decisions have been taken in English courts on just about every aspect of this area, so it's useful to know uh, about. Other key development areas cited include the role of brokers, the measurement of loss, and the rights and obligations of the assured and underwriters following, uh, following a uh, casualty. Um, this fourth edition also extends the scope of previous editions to cover other common law jurisdictions. Again, I think a very helpful um, inclusion here. That's referring to leading cases from Australia, Canada, Hong Kong, New Zealand and Sin Singapore in particular. A uh, new and certainly convenient feature of this edition is the 86-page equivalence table. That's what I in indicated there um, towards the, the back part of the book. So in short, the a uh, basic statement we can make here is that this is a definitive work of reference for marine insurance legislation post-2010, including the 39-page table of, of cases, and therefore it's an indispensable addition to the well-stocked uh, law library that you have. Thank you very much to uh, Informer for this in any event. Bye-bye.